Hey guys, this is the OnePlus 7. I'm sorry about the noise around us. You may hear some voices. People just like to speak very loudly. Anyways, I'm gonna be unboxing this and taking a quick look and my first impressions. Here's the box it comes in. And as you can see, it's a pretty good looking box, though a little beat up like most Amazon boxes. Um, the MRP is 33,000. I paid 29,999. This is the mirror gray version. And um, it has 6 GB RAM, 128 GB of data on board, um, mirror gray version. As you can see, there's a bit of a thing happening here. I don't, I don't like this, man. I don't like the fact that I paid good money and I'm getting a beat up box. I've taken the plastics off. It's time to open the box. Okay, we need to remove this also, this little ribbon kind of a thing. And now let's see. Okay, okay, it's gonna open. Slow and steady wins the race. Okay, so first you have the user manual, nice thick user manual, and then you have the phone itself um, facing up, I think. Yes, it's facing up. Um, there's a lot of dirt on this and it wasn't very snugly put, so I don't know if, uh, why it's like that. Anyways, what else do we have in the box? We have another manual or something of that invitation letter. You have the charger, which is a dash charger. It charges really fast. And you have the beautiful red cable. That's a USB cable, uh, cable and a USB adapter, um, a dash charger. And connecting it to the Wi-Fi for now, I'm not I'm not actually going ahead and putting the SIM card just in just yet. Um, and there's a reason I'm not putting my SIM card in. This phone is actually, um, it, it's not mine, somebody else uh, I got it for. Um, it's actually for my sister. She has a OnePlus 6T and she's upgrading to the OnePlus 7. Um, I think she's doing that because she like broke her phone and the screen is not looking great. So, just running through the settings here. I'm sure she'll want to change it later. You have an on-screen fingerprint, which is very interesting. Let's see how this works. Just creating a basic pin and let's see. So it's asking me to set up the fingerprints. On-screen fingerprint, that's unique. I don't think many phone have this feature. I know the Samsung has it, but I've heard the OnePlus does it better. Okay, it's a bit of a cumbersome process setting it up the first time, which is good because you don't want it to be too easy. If it's too easy, then anybody can actually go ahead and use your, you know, fingerprint to unlock it. Please move your finger slightly to enter the fingerprint. Okay. Edge input. It's saying play around with it and it wants to get a very good read. Okay, so now that is done. It's adding the finishing touches. I'm just gonna keep clicking next. It's giving me this option for screen calibration. Vivid, naturally advanced. Vivid sounds just like me. Um, font, I guess the, let's try the recommended font. Okay, OnePlus Slate. Looks good. The phone is good to go. I've heard this has an incredible screen and no kidding. I must say the screen looks gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I think the brightness is more um, than my Pixel 3a XL. And there you have the camera. Let's see what the selfie camera looks like. I don't think you can tell on this phone. I'm clicking this on an iPhone. I don't think you can tell how good the quality is. It's, it's not bad, I mean. It's interesting. I like this about the OnePlus phone over the Pixel 3 AXL. Not only does it cost a little less, um, the camera is very fast, the phone is very snappy, and I also feel 128 GB will save your day. I also think this is a dual SIM phone. 
and I can't believe this. It comes preloaded with Netflix. Hmm. I don't know how that is possible. Now it's saying finish setting up your wallpaper and everything. I'll do all this later today. And you have a nice, a very nice interface. I must say it's nice and snappy. Of course, the first time you use it, it's gonna ask you a bunch of questions and irritate you. Let's see what the keyboard is like. Okay, you can use swipe functionality, so that's pretty good. This was a quick first impression of the Pixel. Before you go, I want to just show you what the speaker sounds like. I'm not updating my right now. I'm just going to play some music and uh, show you what the speaker is like. If I think it's it's better than my existing speaker okay wow this is gonna get loud display looks absolutely amazing and um, I love the OnePlus 6T which my sister uses and she got this one I told her there is an option for the red one also but she was not very interested I think it has two cameras let me see how wide the field of view is I think it's pretty wide when you're clicking a selfie camera it's pretty wide I guess there you go again okay very good so far um just on the first impression alone i think this phone looks incredible um i mean everything this is so sleek and nice and this case let's see what it looks like with the case on okay i've put the case on just took me one hand to do so and it looks pretty good i think it looks good to go i think the screen is blurring out because it's at full brightness this is an AMOLED screen, so it has high quality, and you will see that image density. Yeah, so as you can see, you know, it's at 50% brightness right now. If I increase it further, you'll see that it gets a bit washed out. Okay, I'm happy my phone is able to take this. Um, so guys, that was a quick first impression. This looks like a great multimedia device. It looks like a good productivity device, and uh, I've heard the speaker, the earphone speaker on this is somewhere here. I don't know if you can, let me switch off the screen for a moment. It's somewhere here, you know, it's somewhere here. So you have to actually hold it a bit um, differently in order to get your phone right. You know, it's a bit like this. So um, I know this because my friend Jasper, he has this phone. I know you remember Jasper, right? He's, he's there for my beer reviews very often. Okay, guys, I know this video went longer than we expected it to, but I'm happy with this purchase for her. Would I get this phone for myself? Maybe I would. It's just that I, I love my Pixel 3a XL. I absolutely love my Pixel 3a XL. And I feel that um, this does most things very well. And uh, But the OnePlus is very formidable. So thank you for watching my unboxing and first impressions bracket first review of the one plus seven let's see if this actually works okay i use my left fingerprint right left thumbprint okay